very simple method to tell direction without a compass using the stick and the sun. Trout and I discussed some very basic navigation techniques yesterday. I showed him the compass where north, south, east, west was. And But what was your way of remembering north, east, southwest? Never enter Santa's Club Trap, never eat Santa's Club Trap, never eat soggy waffles. My way is never eat soggy waffles, never enter Santa's workshop, that was one of yours? Yeah. And never eat Santa's workshop? Yeah. So that's how he remembers it. Sometimes. But what if you don't have a compass? What if you can't tell the direction? So this is a very easy method, guys, to determine uh, direction. What you have to have is the sun, and it can't be obstructed by clouds, a stick, and then the shadow as a result. First, find yourself a suitable stick. Either carve one, cut one, or just find one that's laying around and pound it into the ground, and that will create a shadow that you need. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Second, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an object, another stick, a water bottle, anything that you have on you, and a rock, and you're gonna place that at the end of the shadow that the stick first creates. And you can see the end of the shadow there. And Trout, why don't you find something and put that at the end of the shadow. Okay, there's our stick at the end of the shadow. Now what we'll do is we'll just give it some time and we will mark the other one. But you know what, bud? What might be easier to tell is if we use a smaller object. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, maybe what we'll do too we'll take this and put it right here in the end so we know exactly exactly where the end of that shadow comes from the stick. Now after you've placed your first marker at the end of the shadow, what you're going to do is wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I don't know, around there sometime. The longer you wait, the more true directional line you'll get. But, as that shadow moves, as the sun, sun moves and the shadow moves, after that time that you've designated, put another object at the end of the shadow. Now what that does, right, where does the sun rise? Rises in the east, sets in the west. So that's going to give you an east-west line. We'll see how it stacks up to the compass, see how well we're doing this. Here is our main stick, and as you can see, we are now under shade due to this big pine. But I was able to mark it the last second, and this was, so here's the starting, and then this is where we ended. You don't have to do these in the middle, I just did these as more, uh, just kind of a visual aid for you guys. So here's a start, here's 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, and this is when I took a nap sometime in between here and this is the end so like I said you don't really need these middle ones so now you've got two sticks and we're gonna draw a straight line in between these two sticks so this will give us an exact east-west line let's see if it's exact so the first stick you place will always be on the west side and the second stick you place will always be the east side. So here's my compass. Put that right in the middle of those two sticks. We will find north is right there. So there's west and there's east. So what you can see there is just a slight difference in the east-west compared to the line that's been been drawn from the sticks. So the sticks will give you a rough estimate, pretty close though, of an east-west line and from there you can find your north and south. 